Okay, welcome back to everybody's favourite cleaning podcast. Um, that suck has a mission you, by the way. I have a lot, a lot to get done in this video, as you will see. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean, as you'll see? You can see right now it is a disaster. And I know, I know I said in a previous video... I can't remember which one that I had been keeping on top of it and I had, you know, I've been really, really on top of it and then, you know, if you saw my last video, my grandma passed away and then also I got like a sty in my eye which sounds like the most minuscule problem but seriously, like I had the worst headache for two days straight. Anyway, point being, yeah. So my house turned into a disaster and I also had to wash this couch for the very first time, which meant I also had to put these covers back on for the very first time. But before I get into that, if you've got any cleaning to get done, feel free to put this on in the background because I do like to talk. Yes, I do. Um, and I have a whole clean with me playlist as well so if you've got a lot of cleaning to get done put that on and I will just yabber at you for like hours <laughs> um so yes this is my first time washing this washing this couch um it is the Westport linen no not linen I don't know um Westport couch from Freedom don't know if you could tell with all the <laughs> um logos on there but yeah so actually in the three months that we've had it this is the first time we've washed it and I wouldn't say it necessarily even needed it it was just that there's a little peanut butter on <laughs> oh yeah I was giving him all the kisses I love him so much um there's a little bit of peanut butter smear on one side and then there was just general you know feet dirt and like smears along the back Nothing too crazy, but I wanted to kind of, oh, bust out the lint roller, apparently. But I wanted just to see if it would be difficult to do, and it actually wasn't. It was pretty dang good. <laughs> uh, I love my kids. I love my kids. I love my kids. Um, But let me tell you, they do. They be snacking. They be snacking, and it feels like not only do I go through so much snacks in a week but um it gets everywhere because let me tell you our girl our girl ladies and gents loves to snack and i'm not just talking about myself like that's a given but i'm talking about my daughter apparently she is like me and she's a snacker and she gets mad if we don't give her a snack while we are um eating as well like sometimes i'll be eating my own separate thing and I'll give her something that's not the same as what I'm eating. And she's getting mad at me. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's how it ends up all over the floor. I do sometimes put her in the bumbo. And we have the bumbo tray. But I just... It just... Mm, it's not the most practical thing. Mm, I, I don't know. I feel like they need to go back to the drawing board with that. So, yeah. Um... That's why I have snacks galore, galore on my floor. Sorry, I just took like a two second break because um, I had to shut the door. You can probably hear my husband in the background. That man's voice carries. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you hear that, my apologies. I am just now on to... Um, fluffing the pillows i do have um what are they called european pillowcases on a few of the bigger cushions on that couch you probably saw them i don't think i've ever mentioned it on here but i do that as well because during winter we had a lot of kids with a lot of snots and it was just getting smeared <laughs> on the couch so i yeah, put them on as well, and it's been a lifesaver. I don't feel like I'm constantly washing the couch, which is what I was worried about, that eventually the fabric would kind of deteriorate a bit. So, yeah, that has 
worked really well for us, but, oh my goodness, sorry, I'll tell you why I'm tired in a minute, but, um, it's worked pretty well for us having the sheet and the pillowcases on there, because it's a lot easier to wash than the bigger stuff. Two, three, four, are you watching, Mummy? Mummy, what are you doing? Oh gosh, he's cute. <laughs> he was just, um, he's been seeing me do some exercises as I've been practicing them at home after my gym and he's so cute. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I need to buy a, you have to remind me when it, next time we're at the shops together, remind me that I need a um, mattress cover for the thing because even though we have the sheet it protects it a lot but there's still girl there's still be stuff sneaking through um yeah so oh that's the sty by the way it it got progressively worse <laughs> throughout the day so if i just look like one of those dogs that have been stung by a bee <laughs> then you know why also if you haven't googled that do so it's a real treat <laughs> um what was I going to tell you about? Hold on. I do have a goldfish memory. <laughs> oh, why I was tired. So, oh, look. He's my little helper. He's getting to that age where I can ask him to, like, put stuff in the bin for me and help pick up his toys and, you know, that kind of thing. I'm going to yawn. Hold on. Sorry. Okay. So, the reason that I'm so tired, oh, my goodness was last night well okay so these last few days my husband's been preparing for an interview and um last night was the night before the interview and obviously he wanted to get a good rest because this one was important to him and so of course of all the nights um of all the nights full stop our daughter decided she didn't want to sleep <laughs> And she's never done this before, might I add. This is why it was such a anomaly. Is that the word? Phenomenon? <laughs> um, I don't really know. But, yeah. So, I was like, okay, what the heck? Why? Why tonight? Um, I was so exhausted. I'd been up from 6 a.m. with her. And then now it was like 12. No. She woke up at 9 p.m. I fed her. Went to put her back down to bed. She refused. I was like, okay, leave you up for a little bit, let you play a little bit, you know, do your thing. Um, oh, pause the story for one second. If I could give you a sound bite from what was happening right now, you would not believe. Like the chaos that was ensuing. <laughs> he wanted to sit on my lap. She wanted to just be held as well. Yep, that falls over. She's crying at me and I'm like, just let me hang the washing. It's days like this that I wish I could just have a dryer. Um, anyway, so she had been... Resuming story, by the way. So she had been up from 9. Um, and then it was like 11 p.m. Tried to put her back down to bed. She refused. I'm like, okay, wow. This is... No. Mm -hmm, Mama's tired. So I thought, okay. You've been up that long? Go to bed try to put her back to bed nope and I have this thing I tell Dante that if you've been rocking her for an hour or if you've been you know trying to get her to sleep for an hour and she's fussing she's probably hungry like don't keep trying just try and give her milk and then normally that works so I tried that I followed my own rules and do you think it worked nope I mean she drank the milk <laughs> She, she happily drinks the milk, but no, that did not put her to bed. So mama gets up at like 12.30 p.m. Hubby really has to do this interview, right? I cannot stress how important that was. So I'm like, fine, it has to be me. I mean, I am exhausted, but it has to be me. I get up, we go out to the, to the living room and sit down. I'm like, fine. I'll catch up on some YouTube videos. I'll relax. Um, oh, hold on. He 
if you're wondering why he's throwing them at me, it's because he is going through this thing where he likes to tell us to catch. So I don't know why where he got this from, but like anything we ask for from him, he's like catch, catch. But like he doesn't really throw it that great. So anyway, it's cute. So yeah, anyway, so I head out to the living room and I was up until almost 2 a.m. you guys. 2 a.m. We sat down and I was feeding her popcorn. I have a little video. It's pretty cute. She's sitting on the couch with me and she's eating popcorn and supervised, of course, um, popcorn. And we're watching some um, TK Maxx shop with me or something. Because I was, you know. So that was my night. I got her to bed at 2, 2 2.30. And then I was up at (laughs) 8.00. And I was like, oh, I mean, lucky I got a nap at all, but you know, still messed with me. So yeah, that was my night. How was yours? (laughs) Was it as dramatic as that? No, that's good to hear. Um, I am currently working on his kitchen sink here, as you can see, and Sometimes I think he thinks this is a real sink because I I find water in there and I find snacks and I'm like, I do hope you know this isn't a real sink. Anyway, I need a little water break so I'm going to go and play you a song for now and sippy sip some water. <laughs> Crowns packed, but I'm alright. Gonna let myself let go. I didn't live up to his standards, but he didn't come close to mine. I was too much for him to handle. Yeah, right. I wasn't his kind of a woman. Didn't fit into his mold, but I don't need his approval. So he can't.
did we get some stuff done? Um, that is the world's worst bathroom door, by the way. Who designs a door that goes all the way to the floor in a, what is called a wet room? Huh? I don't get it. Mm -hmm. It don't make sense. The whole bottom of the door is like paint coming off. It's kind of like, what's that word when... Is it swollen? Bloated? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> my eyes swollen, my stomach is bloated. Anyway, yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> so that's why I have to wipe around it because the dust just gets underneath and you can't get to it. It's a whole thing. Maybe one day if I go on Facebook and there's a free door, I might um snag it up and <laughs> change it. Because I think most doors have to have a gap now. I don't know. I don't know, but it's annoying. So I um, apparently look like I'm doing nothing in this clip, but I was getting um, just the odds and ends here done. While we were sorting out dinner, I think we had um, chicken. It's probably one of our favorite recipes is chicken, rice, black beans and corn, that kind of thing. It's just like a little bowl of all that nice stuff um corn from on the cob because man that is superior um although sometimes i use can but yeah corn on the cob is superior and um yeah so we just threw the chicken on the barbecue oh we did capsicum as well capsicum on the barbecue and then just make that all together you can season the chicken you can use sauce do whatever you want Fairly simple, that's my kind of dinner. I was just looking ahead and I was like, oh, surely we're coming up to the end. Eh. <laughs> I have so much more to get through, so sit down, buckle up, because this is a wild ride, children. Um, yeah. And I feel like I've just run out of all my po talking points for, um, for this video. Uh, I just realized how loud my husband is. <laughs> I'm playing back the other clips and hmm, wowie. I can hear him in the background. So I'm very sorry. I am trying to uh, talk over it. Um, I love putting YouTube on, by the way. I'm sure so many other people do it as well. But like my screen time is like, <laughs> it's pretty bad whenever I get the report. Because I get the report every other Sunday or something. And I don't look at it because the like the thing is, right? I have my phone on a lot and like the TV on a lot. But I'm not sitting down and watching it for most of the time. Like, especially with my phone, as you can see, I just have it playing in the background. Um, oh, sorry. It's so rude. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just love having it in the background because... Although, sometimes I like peace and quiet, but sometimes mm, I just really need a distraction because when I'm scrubbing the pa same pan and I've scrubbed that pan every single day for the last four days, I'm like, ugh, why? <laughs> you know, it's just like sometimes the mess of the kitchen just really frustrates me. Like, why do I have to scrub the same pan over and over again? Because it keeps getting used over and over again. And it just drives me crazy. <laughs> At least with the mess in the other parts of their house, it's different. And it's like not, you know, like it's washing and it's putting the washing away. And it's like a little bit different tasks. Oh, I don't know. I'm just complaining at this point. I am just rambling. Um, anyway. Before I completely go down that rabbit hole of complaints, I um, wanted to let you know that I will have a, um, what's it called, makeover, room makeover coming up soon. I mean, soon is like subjective, more like two months, <laughs> I think. Um, so I think I've said this before, but I am doing the, um, I was going to say living room, not living room. Like, my entryway, my other entryway. <laughs> so, like, we have the seated area, the hallway area, and the front of the 
house. Um, it's only a tiny bit out the front that I wanted to do, but it definitely needed a spruce up. I was out there the other day and I was like, this just, this just looks a little boring. And, um, oh, you guys, I saw these magnificent pots that I want from Bunnings for out the front. Mm -mm -mm. It is just my dream. It is literally my dream to have these pots. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. I have started getting... I started getting, sorry, I like was stuttering, um, some things for it. I have some photo frames because I'd like to do some printed art, um, from, I will give you a little insider tip, not tip, um, insider look at what will be going up. I'm getting some artwork from North Prints, I think it's called, off Etsy is so cute so that's something i'm gonna have up and i think it'll really just be the piece of resistance in um that area so we have our hallway chair we have some art we have mm, i think that's it is that all i've bought oh okay yeah that's all i've bought so far really yeah um anyway so, yeah, I would need to start buying stuff. I'm just making a list. <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, I've made a list and I have definitely checked it more than twice. But I um, just couldn't work out whether I've been naughty or nice. <laughs> oh, that's the dumbest thing I've ever said. <laughs> My God, that was so loud. The kids might have heard. We are all clear on the kid front. None of them woke up, but it was... <laughs> very loud um yeah so i have a list of things i've been trying to get and like how much they cost so that we can kind of like fit it within our budget weekly budget fortnightly budget whatever um yeah so this makeover is not too bad Mm, yeah, there was a few pieces that were expensive, but um, mostly it actually was quite affordable. There was one thing I really wanted, which was a different vase for the... Sorry, I'm breathing so heavy. Um, I'm definitely not pregnant, but <laughs> um, I wanted a different vase. And the vase I wanted, so pretty. Oh my gosh. But it was $130 and I just, I couldn't do it. I mean, I'll spend, I will spend that money in a heartbeat on something else. But I don't know why. 130 I mean, this vase isn't very big. I think that's why I'm holding back a little bit. So, <laughs> yeah. I found an alternative at Big W, which is like 14 or $15. So that was pretty good. And... There's a few other pieces on sale, so I do need to kind of like, you know, <laughs> I don't know what any of that means, but more like hurry up and get on with it. Because also I like, I would just really love to have, you know, it's like the first impression when someone comes up to your house, like we have that patio thing out the front and I try to keep that pretty tidy because that is the first thing people see and we do use it a lot in summer. But I try to keep that clean. But actually, like, the area up from one door to our front door is kind of just blah. Like, it's not, like, doesn't fit with the rest. It's not cohesive. doesn't fit with the rest of the house. doesn't fit with that area in particular. And it's like, you know, whoever comes, comes and sees it, you know, it's just like, mm, you know, you know. Ugh. I'm being so annoying, so extra tonight, but it's just lacking, I guess, and especially since we've done the living room, yeah, I just kind of want it to all be cohesive, especially for, like, when we come home, and it's, like, we've got the lamp on, and it's just, like, did you know, by the way, we don't have a lamp in our living room area which I know sounds crazy like boring crazy boring like not interesting because you would think well like the what do you mean like who cares the thing is we only have 
down lights. So it's kind of annoying because we we have to put the one furthest away from us to give us a little bit of light, but like not too much light. I personally am on the side of less light than more light at night time, right? But I definitely know some people who like to have like lamps and lights and everything on and I'm like, it's just not my vibe. Let me know what your vibe is. Are you like a kind of cozy, quiet, dark space person or like keep all the lights on kind of person? Um, but like simple thing like having a lamp in there would just make the world of difference. Plus, oh my goodness, it would probably save our electricity bill big time. <laughs> so yeah, um, we have two lamps in this whole house. And I just bought one the other day. So we've really only had one since we've moved in here. I mean, not that you really care that much about how many lamps I have. So we are coming up to the end of the video. Let me tell you, I worked my tushy off. And this room looks really cute. It's probably one of my favorite rooms. And I'm actually currently sitting in it right now to do my voiceover. So I will thank you for watching this video as always. And I'll see you in the next one.